the room one on one. Our guests come here to place their greatest fears, the most terrifying anxieties in the Room 101 vault. Joining me tonight is an award-winning actor who has conquered the stage, the cinema and the small screen. She has made our childhoods wonderful. Please welcome the patron saint of play school, Noni Hazelhurst. <laughs> Thank you, Noni. Don't tell me you grew up with me. Oh, no, 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 me, no. No, I... Yeah. Thank you. No, you were well after my time as a child. <sighs> I'm well after most people's time, I think. 1840s that's right. for me. Oh, really? Yeah, that's when, yeah, most of my growing happened. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. We should get into what we're here for, okay. which is to talk about your, your pet hates. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit terrified. I'm a little bit terrified about this. Uh, can we bring on the meat? Can we bring on the meat? I thought I was already here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> look at that. <laughs> OK, so your issue is with chorizo. I'm sick of it. It's on everything. It's just one of those wanky food fads um, that is on every dish. You know, chorizo muffins, chorizo anything. It's just revolting. Muff, muff, muffins? Chorizo muffins? Well, anything. Oh, no. <laughs> no. You don't like it? No. It's fatty, porky, pimento-y. What's, to, what's the hate about it? Sausage, let's be frank, foot. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Yeah. I'm just getting through the... I'm just getting through the hogs balls at the moment. Oh, OK. <laughs> I rest my case. I've got the feeling that's going to come back to haunt me over the course yeah, of the interview. I, well, I think we better be quick. There's a real sense of danger. Now. I I'm think like I'm a... going to win this one. It's pretentious. I mean, what's wrong with just a normal sausage? Why does this sausage warrant such attention that it's on every menu? You when know, did you it's... first try it? When was, when was the I've first I've never one? tried it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you like that with a lot of things? You make a decision without actually sampling them or understanding them or experiencing them? How do you I should feel be in about... government, shouldn't I? <laughs> Yeah? Yes? I have two sons. There's nothing to do with their penises, but if I never see another sausage... It clearly, it clearly wasn't anything to do with their penises until you said... Well, if I, just come out and said, if I just come out and said I don't ever want anything to do with sausages ever again, it might have sounded a bit odd. No, what you said sounded odd. <laughs> Oh, well, taste is one thing, but what about the health implications of eating uh, bangeros de España? Chorizo contains nearly 40% fat. more fat mm. than Spam. 40% more fat than Spam. Oh, does oh, that yeah. mean I have to give up Spam? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Even meat you buy in a can is healthier than chorizo. Uh. It can be made from any part of the animal you want. Uh, often includes lots of uh, lymph Bits. nodes, Ooh. salivary glands, and uh, what is colloquially called <laughs> hog nuts. <laughs> is that okay or too awful to contemplate? Too awful to contemplate. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, clap it. That was a shocking. You can clap it. <laughs> the Australian mm. Food Standards Code states that the good old Aussie meat pie... Yes. ...only has to be 25% meat. Ah, Did you, you know that? It? Don't you love it? That's the standards code. And it doesn't even say what kind of meat. No. 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 <laughs> no. I love it when you do that. Thanks. No. 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 You know what the other 75% is? Um, no one knows, Noni. No one knows. <laughs> do you think our meat pies, are they like, uh, are they like chorizo in that way? No. Meat pies are special. You stand sacred up for the meat special. pie. Of course I would. Is it because it's from overseas? Is that part of it? Are um, you a sausage racist? Are you the Pauline Hanson of snags? <laughs> Please explain. Yeah. Um, no, I just don't understand why all the fuss over this particular sausage when there's four million other kinds of sausages that could have been just as successfully used in a, in a dish. Mm. But I just, I'm sick of it being on every second dish in a restaurant. Okay. How many people hate it out there? How many people don't give a shit about chorizo? Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you on it. Get rid of it then. Oh, don't, don't you bloody tell me how to operate my room 101 lever. Thank you very much, Noni Hazelwood. Umbridge. Umbridge is being taken at the moment. 
I think I'm with you on this. I'm a bit split on it. I don't mind a sausage, a spicy sausage, but just for the sake of argument, I'm going to send it into room 101. Yes, it's it going to be gone no from your life attention. and our life Excellent. and from the Australian palate and plate. Ready? Yes. Go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Absolute unbridled confidence at this point in time. Ah. Feel so happy to be here with you. Thanks. Me too. <laughs> you ready? I think so. Let's go on the journey, huh? So. <laughs> Shades of Humpty Dumpty. What, <laughs> what does this represent for you, this little malformed it, egg thing? It's, uh, it's, it's a comb over. Oh, I can't co stand You can't comb stand the comb over. And I must admit, I was about 12. I hasten to say when I was 12. Yeah. And the, the fashion was for a very straight fringe, Mary Quant style fringe. Yeah. If I used to, I, and I've got a bit of a cowlicky kind of fringe, and if I used to wake up in the morning and my fringe wasn't straight, I just used to cut that one off and comb another layer forward. <laughs> so I was my own personal comb over. So I, I do have sympathy with the idea of the comb over, but I was 12. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't think people could notice. Oh, okay. Could you put that down? You're kind of worrying me. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel, do you not realise that we know you're losing your hair? You know, I've got to be honest, this is a little bit rich coming from a woman. <laughs> Women are the mistresses of disguise, are they not? You, you wear clothes that change your body shape, you have makeup that redefines your face, lashes that give you lashes, wigs, nails, and spandex, for God's sake. Speak for yourself. Spandex. <laughs> but the whole woman thing is about it not looking obvious. That's the ideal of cosmetics and fashion and, you know, you want it to look like you just threw it all on and it's fabulous. Now, I've got to be honest with you, sometimes it is a little bit obvious. <laughs> a lot of people don't have the money to deal with baldness in an effective way. These men certainly do. These are very rich men who are battling with a bit of hair loss. Can we have a look at them, please? No. So this is... Uh, <laughs> this is Prince Charles. You can't see her, but Camilla is in that photograph as well. <laughs> Uh, his comb over actually puts the royal into right royal fuck up. <laughs> okay, let's have, let's have another look at another fella battling on. There oh you go. No. There's your. There, that's mean, his natural really. colour, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. The, the curtains match the carpet, if you know what I mean, on that fella. <laughs> but this with Donald Trump, that's the male equivalent of a beehive, except it's making it's making use of the horizontal plane there, as you see. <laughs> but just like a pedal bin, doesn't it? It's <laughs> yeah. Are these better or worse attempts? at the disguise. <laughs> oh, is that that spray on hair? Yeah, that's spray on hair. Oh. Except it's not really spray on hair, is it? It's just paint. Oh, it looks like <laughs> it looks like a monkey's bum that someone's done something horrible to. It looks like a monkey's bum that someone's done. <laughs> People are cruel, aren't they? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's paint. Um, but I think if you're going to graffiti the back of your hair, why not use a bright colour? How do you know it's the back of my bit well, of it could face? Be, yeah. <laughs> OK, we have another one. It's a mm. classic comb over. Tell us what you think of this one. Okay. <gasps> oh, whoa. Now that's really, he's losing it all, right? But he's still going with that little top knot there and he's, uh, he's sweeping it over. It's like an indicator from a Morris Minor in the 50s, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it also looks to me like a pink Pac-Man. Yes. You like that? <laughs> like a, oh, man. You realise that <laughs> that's the that's pink Pac-Man is just eating his hair. He's just going, go, 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 go. Okay, so in regards, to the comb over. Yes. Do we send it to room 101 oh, or do we I'd keep it? To. I'd love to. In society. I think it's a brave battle the men are fighting. I think it's, it's hard that women judge them so harshly and think they're vain. Uh huh. But for you tonight, oh. and this is such a pleasure, and you're trying to I be am nice. going to send the comb over into room 101. <laughs> Farewell, comb overs. Yay. Into room 101 you go. Thank Goodbye. You. Oh. I love it. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Well. More shenanigans with Noni very shortly. <laughs> well, it's, it's controversial already, in my opinion. Controversial. Oh, you should get out more. Controversial. <laughs> Uh-oh. Got a present for you. OK. Oh, OK. You shouldn't have. Is it ticking? It, well, it might be. Might be. Doesn't mean it's a bomb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want to know what this means? You know what it means yet? 
Uh, yes. <laughs> it is 24-7 news. Yeah, round the clock news. News. News round the clock. <laughs> Very good, Paul. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. It's news round the clock. So round yep. the clock news. You don't like the 24-hour news? I'm over the 24-hour news. You don't like the 24-hour news? No, I like to find the news when I want it. I was at the dentist a couple of weeks ago. Lying back, dentist, I'll just lay you back into the chair. And there's that thing, this Tony Abbott on the television <laughs> with the news. And I thought, is he giving me a second opinion or what is happening here? It's just everywhere. It's on the bus. It's on the plane. It's on the, in the waiting rooms. It's on the mag everywhere. I, I'm so over it. And it's so depressing. It's just repetitious as well. You okay. know, it's, you get the same story regurgitated 78 times. Then you get 15 journalists who have all been sacked off newspapers talking about what they've just heard and yeah. interpreting it for you. So it's new news it. becomes old news very oh, rapidly. And yeah. who wants to see the same tragic accident over and over and over again? Do you ever feel you're missing out, though? Missing out on what? Well, the great news stories, like, you know, Kanye's new breast size or... That's right, that's right. <laughs> we demand that the news is on 24 hours, the audience wants the news 24 hours, even when there's nothing I to really agree. report. I don't agree that they want the news. Let me show you this. Oh, okay. This is what we want, apparently. Thank you, Robert. Uh, well, plenty more to come from here, of course. None of it news. A couple of texts coming in. Uh, come on, BBC, people do have babies. Stop saying the same thing over and over. Give us the rest of the news. Uh, what a load of sycophantic rubbish, says another. Good morning. And uh, God help us if this ends up a long labour. Uh, it could be tomorrow morning if all goes well today. But until then, we're going to be speculating about this royal birth with no facts to hand at the moment. Oh, that was insane. It was one of the worst moments, I think, in, yeah. in journalistic history. Yeah, but, but you, and they also, you know, you, you get the sense that often in the, not that situation, but in other situations, they want something to turn bad. You know, they want, oh, there's a big hurricane coming and we hope it's going to do everything. Oh, uh, it wasn't that good, actually. What about this? Well... Authorities are now interviewing a 60-year-old man who's in a Florida prison. The possible suspect, Rodney Stenger. <laughs> here, well, this is not Rodney Stenger, obviously. The weird thing is, that is Rodney that is Stanger. Rodney Stanger. <laughs> yeah. Is this a valid error, do you think? Did someone really make a mistake, or was that someone in the newsroom just goosing around yeah, having no, a bit of fun? They're probably frantic. They're probably, you know, they've got 19 screens to watch and they're getting feeds from everywhere and they've got to fill stuff and cross to this one, cross to that one to warrant the, the huge budgets they give news a as crazy, a crazy drama. Absolute, absolute chaos, absolute <laughs> chaos, chaos. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask the people about this one. I'm gonna ask the people, because I'm a bit conflicted. Uh, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Too much news in the world, too much bad news? Yes! Really? Yes! I disagree with you. <laughs> That's all right. I think, there's a, I think there's a need for the 24-hour news service. I know they don't make mistakes. Maybe your need. But, yeah. But occasionally, <laughs> occasionally it is one of those essential sources of information that you wouldn't get anywhere else. And I think we need round-the-clock news. But because we don't like sending anyone away empty-handed, <laughs> just so you can cope with it, Noni. Yes, Paul. We have uh, a face mask. Oh, board. bless. So there. Thank you. You don't have to see it. <laughs> we have some earplugs for you. Brilliant. So you don't have to hear it. Thank you. And we have some sedatives to send to our... <laughs> Excellent. ..to Nine Eye Land and not wow. have to worry about the 24-hour news. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Noni Hazelhurst of the 24-hour news service. <laughs> it's staying. Let's hop up into room 101. Oh. OK. 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 What's this? It's, it's... A, it's a large... It's a large... What is it? Fabric. Is it fabric? It's fabric of some description. Okay. Oh, so oh, yeah, fabric. It is. Oh, no, I'd like that. Ooh. Okay, let's have a go. What do you think? Oh, dear. <laughs> My nemesis. Yeah, what's this? Red carpet. The red carpet, the you don't like it? The red carpet. You it... hate the red carpet? People think it's, it's glamorous and it's lovely, but in fact, it is the first time when you're sort of 20. What's so bad about adoring fans and paparazzi trying to get a snappier, apart from the adoring fans and the paparazzi and the snapping? <laughs> Pretty much. No, it's torture because you just feel like it's all about how you look. The proletariat would love to go to the locals. 
these poor little caravan the dwellers would love to go to the Logies. <laughs> I'd love to go to the Logies if I didn't have to do the red carpet. OK. It's all right once you get in there. It's all right when you get in there? Yeah. Oh, but, okay. but once I was there by myself, I didn't know anyone in the foyer, so I pretended I had a phone call. It was pathetic. I thought, I don't know any of these people. So I went, <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and he's ah, 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 hoping like hell the phone wouldn't ring and I'm trying to turn the <laughs> volume down. Just so I looked busy. I mean, I just felt awful. Do you like how they try and get your attention, the paps, that uh, all the people are taking photographs? Well, and no, no! Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> over here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you're an obedient cattle dog that they think they can just call you over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's all right. Look, they're doing You don't their mind job. that? No, they're doing their job. That's all right when that. people it's... yell noni at you. But it's the, oh, hello, who are you wearing? It's all that stuff that I just find stupid. OK, uh, so we know what we're talking about. Mm. We know you hate the red carpet. Mm -mm. You don't enjoy it. No. It makes you feel uncomfortable. I feel very uncomfortable. OK. Um, here are some examples <laughs> of people on the red carpet looking glamorous. Oh. Oh, oh sweet. Ariana Grande. Too what, what do you think? How's she doing on the red carpet there? She looks like, well, there's two poses that are ubiquitous now for girls. And one is that I'm helpless, I'm such a little pathetic girl and I'm so cute, aren't I gorgeous? That's the one I use. Yes, works for you. <laughs> And the other one is the overtly sexy, you know, vampy, I'll bite your head off as soon as look at you. Like this of. sort of jobbing? Oh, here we go. Yeah. 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 And people vote for them now. I mean, what are you looking at, the keyhole? There's a, there's a keyhole? Well, either, is it a brooch or a keyhole? I can oh. just see a, a round thing oh. at her waist. I, I went somewhere completely different. <laughs> Oh, I must tell you, one time I went, I had this huge dress at the Logies and it was a big mistake, I'll never do it again. Um, and I went to the toilet and it was literally a huge skirt. Who was it? Alexander, what's his name? McQueen. No, Perry. Downer. Perry, Alex Perry. Alex Alexander Downer would make, <laughs> <laughs> he would make a lovely frock if you, if you just peeled him quite thinly. Oh, stop. <laughs> Anyway, so I went to the, went to the loo and the skirt was so big, the cubicle was quite small, and I came out with the toilet roll, of course, trailing. It oh, got caught no. up in the skirt, oh, so no. trailing. Oh, no. Very elegant. What are you oh, wearing? No. Sorbent. Yes. <laughs> what an idiot. That's probably pre-Gaga as well. Pre-Gaga. Pre-Gaga. I taught her everything she knows. Hey, I know it's crazy, but have you ever thought, uh, just off the top, have you ever thought of just staying at home? I have stayed at home. I get out as, as many of them as I can. Well, I've been going to them for a long time and, you know, it'd be like getting married 40 times, you know, and I've only been married three, I think. But, um... You've still got, you've still got a few good years in I front have. of you. I <laughs> have. So it's, it's an uncomfortable part of your profession, but it does seem yeah. to be part of the job now. It's, you are contractually obliged. You contra so you're not going to get out of it. And I don't think we can put it in room 101 for that reason, because you are contractually obliged to walk down the red carpet. But we might have a solution for you here. Oh, good. Oh, please. Oh, this is a doctor's certificate. Oh, excellent. <laughs> excellent. It means you can get out at any time. It's a room 101 doctor's certificate. And you just <laughs> sign that, we'll send that along. That gets you out of the Logies. Oh, that's so cute. It's very sweet, isn't it? Thank you, Dr that's McDermott. Right. I love it. Thank you, I will. <laughs> Thank you. you. Never have to walk it again. <laughs> please. Uh, we'll be back with a bit more No Need Controversy very shortly. Last bite of the cherry, last bite of the cherry. Mm. Shall I do it? Do you, see what's, do you want to see what's under the red cloth? <laughs> yeah. You'll get home quicker that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's very cute. Yeah, yeah. Don't ask me to wear them. I'll go and wear them for <laughs> me. No, no, no. Wear no. them for me now. What are you wearing? Yeah, stumble right. across the floor like a broken gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen me at the Logies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, well, it's stilettos on the red carpet, isn't it? Uh, that's the idea. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't last. You wear flats? I did this year. That's sensible, isn't it? These things, these things cripple your feet. I think so. They cripple your feet. I they don't break get your toes. Them at all. Yeah, I fell for it when I was about nineteen, in the seventies, and they had uh, big cork wedges, which sort of came back a little bit lately. But they're like wearing a surfboard, really. They're about that thick, yeah. all the way down your foot. And I sort of thought, oh, it's not like a stiletto. It's it's you know a nice flat platform. And you'd, you'd wear them with, I wore them with these high-waisted, flared pants. Oh, my God, that sounds wonderful. They were wonderful. <laughs> like, like, like big poggy cuff. lady stilts. That's right, with, with big cuffs. And they were actually six inches longer than your leg, but when you put the shoes on, it was all fine. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm on a tram in Melbourne, and I get off, and of course, I'd be, eh, under the tram tracks. Onto the tram tracks? Yeah. 
Right. Because the thing, you know, you're not in control of yeah. your feet. And I feel flat. I've no, never worn stilettos since. I just can't. I'm too scared of breaking my ankle. You know, the, the heel can be from one inch to ten inches. And even beyond that now, it's gone freaky. Uh, you know, with designers like Alexander McQueen so and Vivian Westwood and people like that. <laughs> yes. uh, they are incredibly dangerous. Very dangerous. Uh, stilettos do give the impression, though, of glamour and height and wealth. But then you have to walk somewhere, don't you? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well. They're very tricky, even for professionals. Uh, women that have dedicated their entire lives to wearing stilettos sometimes find them a bit tricky. Can we have a look? Please. Uh-oh. Oh. Fine. Fine looking filly. I mean, the hair is yeah, not for off oh. balance. Oh. Oh. oh, darling. Oh. 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 No, she's all right. She's all right. Oh. Oh, the poor little fish. Oh, she's oh. still going. Oh. 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 Anyone else's ankles don't feel great oh. at this point in time? That's exactly what I mean. That's insane. <laughs> Stilettos and sex. Sorry? Yeah. <laughs> Stilettos and sex. Study of, by biological anthropologists has discovered that stilettos force women into a natural courting pose. What? <laughs> Immobile. <laughs> <laughs> Unable to move, run, escape. Oh, you're speaking my language now. <laughs> it's a natural courting pose found amongst mammals uh, with an arched back and protruding buttocks. Um, I'm sorry? What are you doing? I can't, I can't, I'm to, I can't do it because I haven't Your got my heels on. buttocks are at the back. This is... <laughs> Feel like mounting that, do you? Is it... No? That's really I weird. I don't, I can't get it. That is very strange. Yeah, yeah. But it does change your body shape, doesn't it? The calves pop out with a stiletto. Yeah, I think if you wear Breasts them... seem to lunge forward because you've got to get the balance right, so you don't want to... Don't you... You're dreaming. No. <laughs> the breasts. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's, a, that's what a, they told you. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what the <laughs> biological anthropologist said when they studied the 300 women that went for the tests. They said they were biological anthropologists yeah, anyway. Right. <laughs> uh, they are very difficult to have sex in, I've found. They, rip... <laughs> they would rip Billy O out of the sheets, <laughs> wouldn't they? Uh, the high heel is a nasty piece of work, worn originally by men. What? Louis the 14th of France, yes. one of history's most famous high heel gents. Let's have a look at him. There he is. On Here the red he is. Carpet. He's on red yeah, he's on red carpet. carpet. <laughs> All the loose ends are coming together oh, here. Oh yes. He's just eaten a chorizo in no. the snack. <laughs> he's oh. just pleased to see you. Oh, that's yeah. all. <laughs> that's woofy. You get next to that painting in the Louvre, and that's that's a lot of woof that, around that, that painting. That would be woofy. He's about to go off and read the news for 24 hours. <laughs> this is him getting ready for Mardi Gras. Uh, <laughs> wow. Um, I agree with you, the stiletto is a little bit uh, difficult. It, it crushes mm. the toes, it deforms the feet. Uh, it's not a particularly good piece of uh, clothing. It's not well designed in that regard. Um, I am going to send the stiletto into room 101. Yes! You happy? I'm Here we go. Very happy, Farewell! Yes. Stiletto! Good job! Goodbye! Go! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Please thank Noni Hazelhurst. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Farewell to Room 101. Oh, there's, there's, there's <laughs> limits and levels. Don't, no, there's no limits and levels. There's limits and levels. Don't bring anything. Wait a second. I'd rather you bring no, nothing. Wait a second. No, 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 no,